What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making some advanced trap drums from scratch. So if you're ready, let's get right into this. Okay, we got a couple quick announcements before we jump right in. I got a new Twitch channel that I just made and we're going to be going live this weekend. I know we said we we're going to do it last weekend, but I had some things come up. So this weekend for sure, and we're going to be doing some beat reviews and critiques. So if you guys haven't followed me yet, make sure to go ahead and follow me. And I'm leaving the link in the description below. It'll say Twitch and then it'll have my link. Because right now, people, you can't really find my thing if you search it in. Let's see, Fearless Beats Official. For some reason, it's not popping up for a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. So maybe I need to upload videos first or something like that before it actually recognizes me. But the link is going to be in the description below anyways. Also, I'm going to be picking two mods from the chat that are going to be my Twitch mods so that you can help me get rid of any spam comments and just keep the community amazing as it already is. So if you would like to be a mod, make sure you are following and comment below. I want to be a mod and I'm going to be picking out a couple guys once we start streaming and you guys are going to get that mod card, and you're going to be good to go. Next thing I want to show you guys really quick is on my website, we have a couple new services that we're offering. We obviously have the one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions that we've been offering for a while. We now have a mixing and mastering. So if you need some mixing and mastering on a beat or a song, you can go ahead and look at that if you're interested. Also, this new one right here is a beat collab, which I think this one's pretty cool. So we're obviously going to do a collaboration, me and you together, but it's not just a collaboration. You're going to get the MP3 and waves of the finished beat. You're also going to get the Ableton project file so that you can see exactly what I did to get it to the end point. And you're also going to be featured on the, our YouTube channel. So you're going to get a feature on the intro and outro. You know how I usually play a song? Our beat is going to be featured in the intro and outro of one video, and I'm going to put your name in it as well so that everybody knows that you are a part of it. All right, so enough of the announcements. Let's get right in to the advanced drums. All right, we're going to be using this melody right here, and then we're going to start building some drums. This beat's about to be stupid. All right, so these are gonna be some advanced drums, so we're gonna be doing some crazy rolls and crazy stuff. Let's get right into the 808 now. So we are in E minor, so I'm assuming we're gonna start on an E, but we're gonna find out right away. just make it on the E but we might move where the actual notes go so let's see we're gonna turn on triple eight grid Okay, so I'm thinking something like this. What I'm gonna do really quick is turn on this legato so that it stretches out all of our notes and then we're gonna throw it down to the octaves it should be in. Oh my God, this is gonna get so hard, fam. All right. We're gonna turn the velocities all the way up. Oh my God, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get this kick right now.
So what I ended up having to do was drop all these down to an E2 because when it was on the E3, it didn't sound very good. This versus this. So you can see that E2 definitely has more of a kicky feel. So sometimes you're gonna have to switch up the octave it's on. And I'm just following the 808, which is pretty much E the whole way through. All right, let's get a little hi-hat pattern going. I think what we're gonna do is take this and put it on the second section instead. So let's do that. I'll put some notes back like this. I think we need another quick roll like right here. This is not gonna be a triplet. <clears throat> All right, let's do some of these velocities really quick. All right, I think those hi-hats are pretty crazy, so let's move on. Let's do an open hi-hat next. Try out one of these other hi hats we got. All right, I like this one, but I want to turn it down a little bit. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn down the length of it. So we're gonna turn the sustain, and we're gonna control it with the decay here. I think it's time to add a snare in there. What do you think? Man, this holy grail snare, I just can never go wrong with it. Always sounds good. <laughs> All right, we gotta throw a clap in here just to accent that snare. So we're going to copy the snare midi over to the clap, and then we'll pick out a quick clap here. All right, we're also going to throw a perk in here. God is blessing us with a hard beat today. I can't even say anything else. Holy shit. All right, so let's talk about a couple other things now that we got the basic drum set up. So when you're doing advanced drums, you need to make sure everything is perfect because we're at the advanced level now. This isn't no beginner shit. Everything needs to be tweaked and fine tuned so that you can make your beat as best as possible. So some things I want to talk about is off-centering your drums. You can use this right here, these, this little knob on each of the drum wheels to off-center them. So what I like to do is put my hi-hats and anything like that over to one side and then my snare and, any, and my clap and anything like that over to another side. So you can see this open hi-hat we're using. You can see it right here in the volume levels. It's mostly playing on the right already. So we're good. We don't have to do anything with the open hi-hat. With the hi-hats, we have them randomly panning back and forth like we always do. We got this at 15% here. So you can see it's going back and forth on the levels here. 
So let's look at this perk right here. Let's put this perk. We'll put this perk to the right. And then let's go ahead and throw our snare and clap the other way like we were just talking about. So what I like to do is put my snare just a tiny bit to the left. Doesn't need to be too far. And then I'm going to put the clap a little bit farther to the left. Not much though, just a little bit. And that's going to let the kick and 808 sit in the middle without everything piling on top of each other. So just giving it a little bit of a tilt to the left or right can make your drums way, way better. All right, let's put some sauce on that hi-hat. We're going to put a shaper box on the hi-hat. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into this time here and we're going to go into the reverse. Let's uh, let's take this one and we're going to do this every four bars. So it's going to reverse it at the end of every four bars. Let's solo the hi-hat just so you can see what that's going to sound like. You can see the waveform down here as it goes. Hear that cool reverse it does right at the end there? Sounds badass. So that's a little cheat hack right there. All you gotta do is set it to four bars up here, and then you just pick this reverse pattern down here. All right guys, so that concludes the advanced drums. In the next one, we're gonna be finishing this beat. We're gonna be mixing it down, mastering it, and arranging it. So let's listen to the drums that we got really quick. We're gonna go through all these melodies here that we have, so. All right guys, that wraps up the advanced drums tutorial. So I hope you guys liked that one and smash the like button if you did. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're uploading daily videos that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. But besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out.